And uh, temperatures are slowly climbing, as we've been mentioning. And while spring means more sunshine is near, snow less likely to be problematic, hopefully, in the coming weeks. There is another road concern, though potholes. And Kate Chapel joins us now here in the studio with more, Kate. Yeah, we talked about what can be very devastating road blemishes about a week or two ago. And after some continued concern about potholes, we wanted to dive a little deeper into the issue. Now, I spoke with a local tire expert this morning and breaking down the best ways to avoid complete destruction if you have no choice but to hit that pothole head on. It's a common sight in spring. Potholes blemishing roads across the area. It's been a busy year. Um, lots of bent rims, lots of wheels. I've seen a lot of uh, damage on the same side of the car, which indicates a pretty big pothole if it takes out both front and rear tires. At Legacy Tire and Granger, business hasn't slowed in the last three winters. The slower the speed, the better off you're going to be. Uh, that was a big pothole. <laughs> Owner Aaron Johnson says there are ways to avoid major damage. Besides slowing your speed, he says, give yourself room on the road. That gives you the extra buffer to slow down, stop, avoid the pothole. Obviously, you don't want to swerve into traffic at the last second. So give yourself time and, and room to maneuver. And when you can't swerve, hit the hole head on, but roll through slowly and let the center tread of the tire absorb the impact. The sidewall is the weakest spot, so if you would hit it on the side, it would damage it more. Potholes can also affect a vehicle's alignment. So chances are it won't just bend your rim, it'll dent your pocketbook. From 150 up to 600 per wheel, depending on what type of car you drive. Now it's also a good idea to check your tire pressure at least once a month and have your vehicle realigned annually. Trisha, also keep in mind potholes don't discriminate. Right. Uh, at Legacy, they've seen everything from, of course, economy grade cars to luxury vehicles. So. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can all get them. <laughs> That's for sure. How does tire pressure affect the damage? Yeah, so you don't want to over or under inflate your car. And that's because under inflating means a tire is going to flex more. It can easily impact the rim and really cause you more damage. And then when you over inflate, that high pressure means the tire might only run on the center mm -hmm. tread instead of evenly dispersing the air over all of the tire. Now, while you do want the center tread to take most of the impact when you hit the, uh, that pothole, you still, of course, want your tire to work evenly, too. Yeah. So a lot of things go into this, but just uh, get your annual checking on the car done and hopefully wow. you'll be okay. You know,